All right, when I'm out shooting birds or any kind of wildlife with my D500, um, I do everything manual. I do aperture, shutter speed, all that stuff manual. The only thing I don't do manual is ISO. Um, it's just one less thing for me to worry about. So the D500 and a lot of Nikons have this really, really cool feature called auto ISO. And it lets you select a minimum ISO and a maximum ISO. And then if you turn auto ISO on, the camera will determine which ISO uh, gets the best exposure. So it's one less thing that you have to worry about. I've had a lot of people ask me about it, and here's how it's set up on the D500. It's really, really easy. So you have to turn your camera on, you hit the menu button, and we wanna go to the camera on the left there. So I have to press left and then down, I'm on the camera. Now I'm gonna come over to the right. I'm gonna scroll down through the menu until I see ISO sensitivity settings, that's the, the magic place. So then we click to the right, and then you want to come down here to this IO, auto ISO sensitivity control, and you want it on. And when you get it on, you press OK, and then it's going to ask you what you want the lowest number to be, which I would use 100 for the lowest, and then the maximum is this maximum sensitivity, I choose 2500. You can go as high as you want, but of course the pictures will get noisy as you do that. So I choose 2500. I hit OK. I hit back on the menu button. And now it's set up for auto ISO. One less thing that I have to worry about. There should be a little bumblebee in the upper left hand corner. Go ahead and click on that and subscribe to my channel. I got a lot of videos planned. If you like the video, Click the thumbs up and always leave comments. It doesn't matter if it's good, bad, questions, whatever. I'll do my best to answer any questions. And I love hearing what everybody thinks of the videos. Part three of how I set my D500 up for birds in flight is coming up next. I show you how to set the D500 up to shoot raw. You should be able to click in the lower right hand corner to go ahead and start playing that video.